All right, is this completely freaking you out? It's freaking me out. Let me turn the light on. All right. Some of you guys have seen my wave clock, and it's a project that I did with an ESP32. All right, the old ESP32. Oh, you can't see that too well with the camera. Ooh, it's bright. Anyway, okay, the ESP32. Um, and I want to take a few minutes just to kind of tell you a few things about the SP32 because I'm going to be using them in several projects coming up. And they're made by a company, a Chinese company, Espressif or Espressif, I don't know. This is the website for the company. You can go there, you can read about the older board and the SP32 that is going on or that's being used uh, right now. That, uh, it's the latest one. Okay, all right, so here is an ESP32. Let me get the camera to focus on there. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus, does it? There we go. All right, this is an ESP32. Actually, just this chip and this antenna is the ESP32. All this other stuff is. You know, this is a USB connector, that's a battery connector, lots of input output pins, that's a reset. Okay, so this is actually a development board. So you've got the chip and the development board all together there. Now, this is a really cool chip. Um, it's got Wi Fi support, so here, uh, so you can connect this up. To the internet so that the wave clock I was using is getting the time off the internet so it's always accurate it, it's got um, uh, Bluetooth support it's got you know all these um, input output pins so they're gonna support uh, digital uh, analog you know there's a USB connector that's mainly for programming it uh, now the connector that's actually not being run by the chip but by the support board but almost all the development boards come with this usb connector and so you got serial you got spi you know all that sort of stuff now the great thing about this chip which makes it a little different from a lot of chips that we see or especially things like the raspberry pi is that this has a real-time operating system it's not like a raspberry pi that's a similar processor the Raspberry Pi is running on Linux. So the Linux operating system is not a real-time operating system. It may stop your process, go do another system process, then come back to your process. It can run multiple processes at a time, whereas this is gonna run only one thing at a time. So it makes it a lot better uh, for timing and critical stuff where you need to know that something's happening at, at one time. So you write your programs just in a big loop or something like that, and it monitors everything. It does exactly so. You, you never have any doubt what's going on when you do when you do this thing. But the really nice thing about the ESP32 and its real-time operating system is that there's everybody's writing operating systems for it. So I've been writing in Python. Okay, there's a a project called MicroPython. You can program these things up. I didn't mention these got you know four megabytes of memory, so you can write a lot of little programs in here but you just load MicroPython on there and then MicroPython runs the whole system and you can do your thing. Uh, there's a really good project called White Cat Board or White Cat that is running Lua on these things. Uh, again that's a it's actually a really nice project. I've seen it for Arduino um, and all that sort of stuff. Now the really cool thing so this is a, a powerful powerful 32-bit chip has all the connectors all the cool stuff you know and I'm actually if you've seen the clock you know so there's one right there okay so that's what's running this clock or this board thing here which I will make a another uh, video of that um, but the really cool thing about this is the fact that these are dirt cheap. I bought this from China off uh, on eBay, took two weeks for delivery. I think it was $8.
maybe it was six dollars seven dollars if you buy them in the United States off eBay hmm you're paying twelve fifteen dollars but if you got two weeks to wait why not buy one for six or eight dollars and you get this really powerful thing I'm, I'm going to be using these a lot um, you can check out my website I've got some getting started videos you can get my software and all that here's the website um, you can check all that stuff out and uh, see you know what you might want to use up there what you need to get get started it's all free you know it's just stuff I'm doing okay so that's the ESP32 it's an awesome chip I'm gonna be doing several videos coming up using this baby